Good morning, beautiful collective. I hope everybody's doing well today. It's a beautiful day here. It's, uh, I think it's like 4 a.m. or something like that. And God woke me up. And we were talking, well, he was talking. And all the signs that they talk about in Revelations are here. And if you haven't seen the signs, um, I suggest reading the Bible. Maybe you don't even have a Bible. Maybe you know nothing about the signs, but the signs are definitely showing up every day. More and more signs. So I'm going to call a card from the, the Good Word cards for you. It's just a small prayer for the day. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. It's Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 26. So know that God is always with you. And he's pouring his blessings over you. And he has favor over your life. Oh, this one wants to come out. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterward, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. It's James chapter 1 verse 12. So know that whatever adversity you're facing, it's a test. We just got to learn not to react to the tests that are that we face every day. And there are many tests out there, you know. People people like to trigger people. It's it's a part of life. We've all grown up with triggers. And we got to realize why the why is it triggering us and what can we do about it? And whether or not to even accept the energy. Right? From my channel or any other channel or anybody that you encounter during the day. I have to say this channel is for entertainment purposes only, but I only speak when God tells me to speak and share when God tells me to share. So, and I've been, I've fallen on the wayside too, you know, our walk with God isn't perfect and he knows that. He knows that we're going to make mistakes. But that's why he guides us gently. What does the collective need to know today? Okay, we got... Um, such a curious dream, it's card number 45. You may need to ground yourself. You may need to return to reality. And you're coming home. So God and Jesus and the angels are all around us everywhere, every day. And they show up and give us signs every day. So expect impossible things to happen as you're working through your disbelief taking imaginative leaps, and having a fresh perspective. And we got, follow the right white rabbit. Your curiosity meets opportunity. So again, the card, the numbers on the cards are 45, 34, and 3. Curious dream. Impossible things and follow the white rabbit. So it's okay. That's what the whole thing about the book of knowledge is all about and the tree of life. They God wants you to tap into it, you know, and use everything for good. And again, God knows that we fall. Right? We're all born sinners. 
I'll call from the Archangel deck for you. See what Archangels are here. Ask God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost to please work through me to express a message for the collective. What does the collective need to know today? We got three out. We got <clears throat> we got leadership. Archangel Gabriel, it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So basically, once you take control of your life and you're in control of your emotions, then you can go forward and express your feelings and message clearly. A message of hope, a message of goodwill, be good to yourself and others, and you will receive good things back in return. So leadership and Archangel Gabriel. And then we got Archangel Michael. Remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God, and you are very loved. So remember who you are. You are a child of God. And you have the same power as God. And use your powers for good. And we got Archangel Shamil. You could be going through a career transition. Your life purpose is triggering a flesh changed. Change. So know that when you change, you change those around you. And I'll pull from the goddess cards here. God and the angels to come and bless these cards from all past readings. Ask for the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit to work through me to express a message for the collective. Oops. They're kind of jumpy today. What does the collective need to know? God, Holy Ghost, Jesus, what does the collective need to know today? got Cordelia go outside you've been indoors too long go outside and get some fresh air so you may be a, being inside for too long you may need to go out listen to your intuition you, if you can't get outside even just opening up the window and letting some fresh in, air into your space at the same time, it lets out any stagnant air that's in the building or wherever you live in your home. Okay. We got Freya to be bold. The goddesses are asking you to be bold. Unleash your adventurous side, take risks, and be daring. And we got Isis. The situation involved your past life memories. So get in touch with yourself. Ask God to ask God to show you the way. Call in more light. You carry memories in your cellular body. And then we got Dea. Dana. The High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through their spiritual teaching. Oh, sorry, through your spiritual teaching. So realize that God has given you authority over yourself. And once you get control over yourself, make peace with yourself, heal from the past, then you can move forward and help other people. And back to this good word that God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. 
afterward they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. So remember, God is always with you. Jesus walks with you. Jesus' blood is in your veins. We are of all God's children. And we can do nothing without God's guidance. We can try and go off that path, but it usually leads into something that's not for our highest good. And then at the bottom of the deck, there's Kali with endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can, en can enter. And if you're an empath and you're picking up on other people's feelings, remember to cleanse yourself thoroughly. Because that if you don't, the energy lingers around with you. And, you know, it can cause depression, uh, days of sorrow. So cry when you need to cry. <clears throat> laugh when you need to laugh. And eat when you're hungry. Drink when you're thirsty. And rest when you're tired. And call from the Woodland Wardens deck for you guys. What does the collective need to know today? How can I be of service? asked to shuffle like this, but, okay, okay, we got the horse and bluebell, modest fortitude, what a beautiful horse, I love horses, do you love horses, I'll read from the book, And I don't know the number. If you know the number, it's Greek letters. XL1X. Sorry, Collective, I'm just looking for it. There it is. Modest Fortitude. It's downcast blooms. Hang on a minute. It's downcast blooms cause the bluebell to bow gently at its stem, symbolizing modesty. In contrast, the horse is a striking creature, proud and muscular, able to bear great loads and travel long distances. <laughs> it is known for its superior strength and stamina. Taken together, the horse and bluebell remind us that the greatest feats are the result of much humble practice. Work quietly and consistently. The time to shine will present itself in the future. For now, focus on the process rather than its reward. A couple of questions you can ask yourself. Am I too focused on earning praise and not focused enough on the substance of my work? And when is it worthwhile to push through adversity and when is it better to retreat or to rest? So, on that note, I guess Spirit's telling me to take a rest. Maybe you need to take a rest. Maybe you're working too hard. Maybe you're putting your needs secondary to others. Know that it's Spirit is telling you it's okay to take a rest. 
You have to take care of yourself first before you can take care of others. So God bless you, Collective. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful day today. I'll see you in my next upload.